Hello, I'm Ian Preston and welcome to my May market update. So this month, what I want to try and do is talk to you about some of the differences which are occurring all over the market in terms of available stock. Now, at the moment, talking about a shortage of supply is something of a cliche, but actually the situation is not as simple as that. In certain markets like York, there are 26% more instructions coming to the market than there were in the same period last year. And somewhere like Moortown, there's 8.5% less. So there's wild varieties dependent on where you are. Now, one of the big stories which we've been talking about for the past two months has been the Chancellor's planned rise in stamp duty for buy-to-let investors, adding a 3% surcharge onto any purchase of second homes. Now, one of the real concerns which both customers and colleagues have been asking me about over the last month or so has been what's going to be the impact in terms of the number of buy-to-let purchasers who are looking to make offers? Will they be making lower offers to take account of the stamp duty? And whilst it's obviously quite early to tell, uh, in the first uh, uh, month which we've had this in, we've seen some really interesting results. And I want to give you an example of a property just around the corner from St. Anne's Grange where we are today. Uh, it's a fabulous property uh, which was on the market at 135,000. So it's prime first time buyer buy to let developer territory. And we brought the property to the market using our property launch method. Um, lots of interest, lots of offers, best and final bids which haven't yet been concluded but will be very soon. And the sorts of offers in excess of the asking price are 15% over the asking price. So it's a huge amount more than we originally advertised the property for. And that interest was made up both out of first-time buyers and buy-to-let investors. So from our point of view, we have seen absolutely no impact whatsoever in terms of people being put off from entering the buy-to-let market by the 3% surcharge. And if you think about it, it's really just a cost of entry. And anyone looking to make a long-term investment, as property clearly is, uh, is not going to be dissuaded by that. So the other uh, area that I wanted to sort of touch on were these regional differences. Um, before uh, doing uh, this video today, I had a good look at the National House Price Surveys. The most up-to-date one uh, at the time of uh, shooting this video was the Nationwide March Survey. And they were talking about accelerating house price growth. They were also talking about a north-south divide. And I looked at the statistics for Yorkshire and the Humber. And what they were telling us is that um, uh, house prices were only increasing by 0.6%. And, and I thought, well, it doesn't really tell the picture by any stretch of the imagination for the marketplaces that Preston Baker trade in. We trade in Sheffield, Doncaster, Selby, North Leeds and York. And so the big story for the last two years, which we've been banging on about and every other estate agent has, is there's not enough property to sell. Over and over, uh, this is the, the message which has been coming out. And what we found is that in each of our individual marketplaces, this, the picture is really mixed. Um, as I indicated at the beginning of the video, uh, in places like Headingley, we've seen a 14.3% increase in new instructions year on year, April to April from 2015 to 16 an 8.5% fall in Moortown, and a 26% rise in York. So dependent on where you live, you're going to be experiencing a really different set of uh, market conditions. And my advice to you is to get in touch with your local Preston Baker branch. So if you've got lots of choice, fantastic. Get out there and view some properties. If you can't find what you're looking for, one of the things which our negotiators are trained to do is to actually every day help customers find properties which haven't yet come to market. So whether it's leaflet distribution, whether it's getting on the telephone and calling customers who live on the street where you want to buy, but maybe we valued their house a year ago, or maybe customers who've registered in our York office but have got a house to sell in Leeds, uh, we try and match you people together uh, with, with no cost to you whatsoever. And obviously it helps us bring you property to the market and it obviously helps customers move. So I hope to have some really interesting stuff to talk to you about next month as we get more data coming through about what stock levels are doing, about how much property is coming to the market in your area. Thank you very much for watching and I'm really looking forward to speaking to you again next month. Mm -hmm.